Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Terrifying Tuesday, but it's also Halloween. So we're going to be talking about the Halloween movie franchise. Sort of why it came to be and then where I think it should go from here. So let's jump right into that. So the concept of Halloween became a thing when after the viewing of Assault on Precinct 13 at the Milan Film Festival, an independent producer as well as a financer, Mustafa Akkad, sought out John Carpenter to write a movie about a psychopath that kills babysitters. A plain and simple concept. Now, there are numerous other things that come into play here because, of course, there is the whole mask and the finding a mask of William Shatner that helped to make the character the iconic person he is. But if you believe the stories, the actual concept of the plot itself may have come from filmmaker Bob Clark, who wrote Black Christmas. John Carpenter apparently had a conversation with him where he asked him, what would you do for a sequel to Black Christmas? To which Bob Clark said he would not do a sequel to Black Christmas because he didn't want to write any more horror movies. He didn't want to be the horror movie director. So he decided that he wasn't going to do that. So he asked Bob Clark, well, what if you were going to do a sequel to Black Christmas? What would you do? And Bob Clark supposedly had told him that he would set it during Halloween. It would be a year later and the killer from the first movie would come back. And that's how he would do it. He would call it Halloween. This, this you could take with a little bit of grain of salt because we know that Halloween was always called Halloween and it just kind of was what it was. The film was actually everything it was supposed to be. John Carpenter's idea of Michael Myers was that this was an unstoppable evil. So yeah, there was a little bit of talk about maybe it going a little bit more into the Halloween lore and maybe some witchcraft element stuff along with it. And I know that a lot of people didn't like the Thorn trilogy, but that's kind of where they were thinking about going more in lines with maybe witchcraft element of the whole plot. But then when Halloween 2 came out, and John Carpenter didn't want to write Halloween 2, he only agreed to write Halloween 1 if he could have full creative control. Full creative control to do exactly what he wanted to do, and this was kind of given to him at the time. Now, when Halloween 2 came along, then you have this whole scenario where they were planning the sequel. He didn't want to come back for it. So he, even though he didn't want to come back for part two, he did in some capacity. Him and Deborah Hill actually wrote and produced Halloween 2 with Rick Rosenthal directing. Halloween 3 comes along and he's like, I'll come back, but I want it to be a anthology series. I want it to be something new, something new every time we do it. Just a movie that takes place during Halloween. That's a completely different movie every time, and I think that would be awesome. And that's kind of how Halloween came to be. Now, where do I think the Halloween franchise should go? Well, I'm super excited about the fact that Halloween was bought by a couple different people. We have some options here. We have one group of people that are going to do a TV show now, and the TV show is said to mainly be set in the in the Halloween 3 franchise, and that's okay. The Halloween movies being set in the Halloween 3 era doesn't work because everyone really wants Michael Myers, but if you do a TV series where it could come on every Halloween and it can actually incorporate something Halloween-like and then the next season be something completely different, that would be kind of cool. Although I really do think they have room to expand on the Halloween 3 mythology and I think that that would be a really awesome thing for them to do. Now in terms of Halloween itself, Halloween with Michael Myers 
is never going to be something that dies. We had this new trilogy and it was sort of divisive and a lot of people have questions as to whether or not they should be allowed to continue on with the franchise and do new things with it because they know how this goes. With a new writer taking charge of the Halloween franchise, now you have this opportunity to bring Michael Myers back and we don't necessarily have to have Jamie Lloyd or even... Laurie Strode, especially like Laurie Strode being the final girl in the movies. With Jamie Lee Curtis not wanting to come back, that's always kind of one of those things that a lot of people are, why would you continue on without the main final girl? He is, you know, but I think that if they do that, if they bring it back, they should have new people. They should have an entirely new line of people that he's going after. And I think that would be really, really cool to see. I think having him come back and do sequels that don't represent what we've seen in the past might be the way to go. The sky's the limit as to what they could do with Michael Myers. And really, for that matter, the sky is the limit on what they can actually do with the whole with the whole thing with Halloween 3. Expand upon it in the TV series. Give us a new anthology series every year. It's pretty cool. I would actually love that. And I would love to see Michael Myers continue fighting on in different, in different movies every year. Make that a yearly thing. Jason Voorhees had it going on for a while with a new movie coming out almost every year. The same with Freddy Krueger there for a while. And Michael Myers has always kind of been a little bit behind in terms of a movie coming out every single year. But when you did get a Michael Myers movie, it definitely has the audience that anticipates this movie and decides that they want to go and see this. And Michael Myers has always been iconic. Why not take that iconic property and do something with it that is going to satisfy fans. Give them something new every year. Give them something new every time. And maybe you do a trilogy set here during this time or that time, or even taking it forward in modern times. Michael Myers just keeps coming back. You don't necessarily have to have the same people in every movie. I think that doing this would actually benefit them but I want to know what you guys think. All right, everybody. So as always, we want to know what you guys think. So leave us that comment in the comment box below. Make sure you're sharing this video with all of your friends so they can be a part of the conversation as well. Then hit that like button like it's a pumpkin and it's the end of Halloween because it's free and it helps the channel and we appreciate it. Also, Miko says the one thing that scares him is people who watch our content and don't subscribe. So make sure that you are subscribing to our content so you get all the latest videos we do. And then friends, at the end of the day, I know it, you know it, and Miko knows it. Fandom is family.